I think it's less my ground strokes, but like sometimes approach shots, like I'll miss like e really easy balls. Okay. And so it frustrates me a lot and then it messes with my mental a lot. Um, so you say it's messing up with your mental? What do you, what do you mean exactly? So like what's happening? When I'm losing, I, it's like it's really hard for me to stay positive or figure out what exactly I should be focusing on changing mm -hmm. in my game. When I'm winning, my, I'm really good. My mental is perfect, but it's like when it's important, when I'm losing, is when I need, it needs to improve. So what, what, are you, what are you saying to yourself when you're losing? I'm saying, come on, and like telling myself to relax, but I don't think it's effective. <laughs> I think I need to focus more on what I should be changing instead of what I did wrong. Okay. Like instead of thinking about the past point, yeah. like what I should be doing in the next But time. you realize that you're, t what you're, you're telling me one thing and the opposite at the same time, because you're telling me you tell yourself, stay calm, and it but doesn't, it doesn't no, work. but but you also tell me that you tell yourself what you're doing wrong. So yeah, you're, you're but to I don't you. want to. Yeah, but you are. Yeah, but I okay. Am. Your mental goes down because you are judging your uh, performance yeah. in a negative way. Okay. You tell me if I'm wrong. Huh? You play and then you make a few mistakes. So the other one is leading, and then you are thinking about your mistakes. That's what you said. So, what kind of things do you tell yourself in terms of mistakes? What do you say? My forehand is shit or...? Uh... No, I, I ah. feel like part of me is really trying to be positive, so I'm like encouraging myself. But I think like as, after I miss, I start to lose confidence like, in my yeah. shots, in my game. Okay, let me sit down. So, the thing is, you cannot tell yourself something you don't believe. Because you know what's going to happen if you do that? Yeah, I'm going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is important is to tell yourself things that you believe <clears throat> about you. And I think a very interesting way to start is to, um, to think about someone you think is great at tennis. And <clears throat> imagine this person in a difficult situation. And imagine what you would tell this person. In the same situation as you, what would you tell this person? Like to trust their own game and to, like know, to know that their technique and it's, it's good and that one shot is not their whole game. Okay, but this one is very, theor this is the, I mean, that's, that's great, but this is what people tell you to say. What I want to know is what you feel. If, I mean, if Serena is missing shots and then she's down 3-1 or 4-1, what do you tell Serena? Come on, Serena, you know, you're great. You're gonna make it. I mean, just play a bit higher over the net, go for it. You're gonna encourage her. Huh? Yeah. Do it. I'm Serena. <laughs> Come on, Serena. Let's go. Encourage. I'm encouraging you. Okay, great. <laughs> great. But imagine you say, so say this to yourself, yeah. thinking, okay, that's what this, this you believe, right? Yeah. You believe you, if you are not in the match, so now you, you look at yourself playing, do you think you're going to lose? No. No. Yeah. So put yourself away from the match for a second in between. You tell me you have a lot of time. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, this lot of time that you have between the points or at the changeover, it's an important moment for you. Another thing that is important, there are two matches in one. There is a match against yourself. This is tennis, huh? it's not you. Huh? Yeah. This is tennis. No. And there is a match against the opponent. If you want to beat the opponent, you have to beat yourself. Because if, if you don't beat yourself, there is no chance you're going to beat the opponent. That's so funny you say that. Why? I, every time, like most of the time when I lose, I always say, I feel like I beat myself, my opponent didn't beat me. Like, it's not because they're hitting winners on me or forcing an error, it's just because I'm missing. Let's consider that it's exciting. Yeah. Like this fight with yourself, this is the funnest, the funniest part, because yeah. if you win this one, you're going to win the other one. Yeah, exactly. Right? I know as soon as so. I'm consistent and I'm comfortable, then I'm going to, it's like another level. The fight with yourself, this is the one that we want to win, that is exciting to win. Yeah. So let's see it that way instead of, oh, I'm negative or I have to be positive. This is not fun. This is not fun. I have to be positive, right? It's fun? It's no, fun? No, 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 okay. No. So is it more fun to see yourself as Serena and encourage yourself yeah. huh? and pamper yourself up? Okay, listen, you made a few mistakes. I'm going to stop that now huh? because you're great. Okay. So talk to you in a way that makes you feel good. Like if you're talking to someone that is great because you think you're great, just the pressure of the match makes you forget that you think you're great. And then you talk to someone that is not you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So you do that next time? Yeah. You want to hit some from the baseline? Because I think she would like to hit some shots. <laughs> Let's go!
And then you, so we start hitting like in the, like you did at the start. Just keep this all the time. Huh? The distant opener. Imagine there is a guy dressed with a black thing here that is just standing here and you don't want to hit him here. If you don't want to hit him here, all right? Yeah, transfer. Boom. Okay. Load. Good job. Super shot. Load. Yes, I saw that. And it's exactly what I told you. Yeah, you didn't push forward. You were like that. So fast, forward. Now, when the ball comes to the side here, be careful, don't, no, don't do that. This one, open, okay? Open here, open there. Same, organize early so you can push. Ready? Good job, that's great. Good. Yeah, that's the same reason. It's just you move and last second you want to organize and you're here. Okay? Okay, so prepare, move, hit. Prepare, move, hit. Good job. Super. That's a great shot. Perfect. Great. Good job. Super. But only the last one, you were a bit late. You saw you hit the ball here? Yeah. So same, when you organize early, it's always great. Go ahead. Good. Load. Good. Great shot. And start to recognize when you hit a very good shot deep, get ready for the next one who's gonna be short. In. Yeah. Because you're gonna hit more and more of those. So open, yeah. Yeah. One thing that I want you to feel every time is that Instead of having a ball who goes, that goes super straight like this, make sure that it goes always a bit like that. Rather do this than this. Oh, yeah. If it's too flat, more, much more risky. And you have the power to hit a shot with spin and speed at the same time. Good job, Anna. Good ball. Yes, that's the one. Yes, super. Yes. Good job. Yes. Good, 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 good. Great Thank job. Thank you so much. That's great. You have a lot to work. That's great. Yeah. So you have your... Uh, Lots of practice. Yeah, That's perfect. Good. Perfect. Yeah. You have a huge room for improvement, but you have great, a lot of great things. You have super power, like your power is incredible. You have easy power, which is, not everyone has that. So as you said, you, want, you need to learn to control it. So the spin is a great way to control it. Same with the serve, by the way. Yeah. No? And you know now how to create spin with your serve. I have one more question. Ah. My last question. So if everybody here is doing the same amount of work and like putting in the same amount of time, what can I do off the court that you think would be like most beneficial to do more than everybody else? Okay, so first, don't look at others, focus on yourself, right. okay? Because at the end of the day, what is important is to become the best you can be, right. okay? So I really like, and I think it's great, and it's really special that you are thinking like that and to do whatever you can to be the best possible you can be. That's yeah. Fantastic, and whatever you do in your life, whether it's tennis or anything, is going to be an asset for you all the time. So, what can you do? It's very important to have your specific. So, it's important to play with others, which you do every day. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to focus on what you need to do. You know, uh, you can take, for example, this and go so work on I, your serve. I do uh, that. Oh, you do yeah. perfect. But now you do with uh, something really specific. clear in your mind to create the spin, etc., etc. Once you've reached your goals, you come back to me and we'll, we'll, we'll fix the next ones and you, you, you improve like that. And second thing that is important is the fitness. So yeah, uh, see with your, uh, your fitness coach, the things you extra you can do if you're not completely dead at the end of the day. Yeah, it's not enough. Uh, so I ask know. for more. Yeah. Ask for more. Tell him I'll do it by myself. Don't worry, but give me some more. I did that too. Don't worry. <laughs> So so you know everything already. <laughs> no, it's good. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more tennis tips, first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram at Patrick Muratoglu. See you very soon on a tennis court.